Woo! All right. Gotta love any song that ends with a little scat like that, right? Um, love it. All right. That song was called Fine to Me by a band named Pokey Lafarge. Pokey Lafarge. Um, all right. Happy Friday, everybody. Thank you for joining us this morning. As usual, we are going to get ourselves going with some gratitude here. Um, it is the highest form of energy. We're going to get our energy up on this Friday morning. Everybody's going to have big, big weekends. I know it. Get out there and sell some houses. So let's get our energy going first. Who's got some gratitude this week? That wants to get off this week. All right, John. All right, so I'm grateful for it. Like, I'm finally done with my, like, um, the 10-step onboarding list. I finished pretty much everything on the list. I have my business cards coming in soon. Set, just finished setting up my Facebook and my Instagram page. Um, started Ignite this week. So, you know, this week been super productive. A lot of, a lot of positivity this, this week. Love it. Love it. All right. And I, I will say I've jumped on Ignite a couple of times. I've been in and out. And every time I jump in, John is contributing to the group. It's awesome. Love it. Love it. The, All right, first day I saw, up, the first day I saw John, I was saying, and when I heard how he was talking and giving us advice on money, I'm like, we have a, another Rick on the team here. Another young Rick on the team. <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right, Fiona. Uh, thank you. Um, so I would just like to say very belated um, Thanks to everybody uh, for the most amazing Kappa Cruise. Um, it was so much fun. And um, I've been a little absent recently because uh, I've been moving house and uh, finally moved everything yesterday. But I just wanted to say a huge thank you. Um, everybody that didn't make it, they should be hugely motivated uh, to get on next year's Kappa Cruise because it, it was probably the best day of my life this year. So it was really, really excellent excellent time thank you thank you thank you Woo! you gotta love that capper cruise all right herman <clears throat> herman you there buddy oh oops <laughs> sorry <laughs> all right accidental unmute no worries <laughs> uh oh well, gra gratitude well you know gratitude always every day you know for family this company and just, you know, the whole environment, it's great. And, and just hearing everybody's success stories is motivation. And uh, I'll be on that Capra cruise next year. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, you will. Keep it up. Keep it up. Thanks. Right. What you focus on expands. That was bold law from what, two weeks ago that we started with kick this whole thing off. All right. Who else has some gratitude? I do. I want to thank Jen Hen. Kathleen Spellman, the Boxer Group, and Silva for working with me this week. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Karen. All right. Who else has some gratitude? Motorola 5G. Must be Tama. Anyway, I'd like to um, give gratitude to Dawn Grabover. Um, we've been working with a interesting client, and she got it done. We finally got the accepted offer yesterday, so... Dawn rocks. Love it. Love it. Who you're in business with matters. Who you work with matters. Love it. April Fury. I'm going to give a shout out to everybody in the office that has offered to help me in the last 48 hours. So Chris DiBiase, Randy Lynch, Derek Spencer, and everyone else who's offered, and I've not been able to take you up on that. I'm sure at some point in the next 90 days, I will. So I'm just... <laughs> Giving a shout out to everyone who has helped me in the last two days. <laughs> Get better quickly. All right. Uh, who else has some gratitude? All right. Well, I'm showing out. Some, I'm throwing out some gratitude for David. David Lee. We're twinning today, buddy. Love it. Um, all right. Any other gratitude? I'll throw out some gratitude to uh, my seller who had a guest over, the guy backed up his plumbing, it totally flooded his basement, and my buyers um, for the house said, no problem, 
and they accepted everything the way it's going to come out. And I'm just happy that the deal's still together. And I got a great seller and a great buyer. Love it. Love it. All right, David. All right. Um, I'm going to throw out some gratitude for Marty. Um, Lametta and, and had, she was, uh, who, who sits down in our Westport office, but she's been awesome. Adonis has been out the past two weeks on his honeymoon. Uh, he'll be back on Monday, but, uh, Marty and Skylar, um, and Sam have really stepped up to help out with, in a lot of ways, um, covering a lot of those things, helping our, our, our agents getting, getting themselves sorted out, uh, as they come in and things like that. And just, they, they've been doing an above and beyond job, uh, the past two weeks. So. Shout out to all of them. All right. Any other gratitude? Last call for gratitude. All right. So a um, couple announcements. So we're going to be launching our October calendar. Keep an eye on the website. I don't believe it is up yet, or at least it wasn't this morning when I checked it. Um, but we have a bunch of, we have some really, really uh, important things. And, 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 and one of them in particular, ties in um, really, really well with our topic of today, which is clarity is power. Um, and that is our business planning clinic. It's actually going to be a two-day cl uh, planning clinic. It's going to be, uh, it's being taught by Mr. Gene Rivers. Um, so for those of you who have not had the chance to, um, to work with him in the past, absolutely keep an eye on the calendar for that because um, he is an, uh, he's a powerhouse. Um, he's one of the original KWU trainers. He's done everything from uh, being an agent and running a team to running multiple market centers, um, et cetera. Um, runs a massive, massive business and, and is just one of the best people that I've had the pleasure of training with um, at Keller Williams. And he's going to be running a business planning clinic to help all of you get clarity around your business um, so that you can launch, really launch it for next year. Um, so you can kind of put all of that into, into play. So keep an eye out for more details on that. In addition, on October 14th, we're going to be having our regional mega camp event. Um, we've got uh, Chris Suarez joining for us for that, um, as well as potentially Mariano Rivera. They haven't announced, they haven't confirmed that yet. Um, but they're also going to be some of the top agents from our area sharing their, um, sharing their uh, expertise, their ideas and their, the things that they're doing in their business including, I, I did get confirmation yesterday, um, somebody from the KW203 family, at least, I know there's at least one agent being uh, featured from our organization here. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the rest of the uh, panels, but um, so definitely keep an eye out for more information on that. That'll be October 14th. So just mark it in your calendar, um, regional uh, New York Tri-State Mega Camp. All right. Um, all right. So Last week, we talked about be, do, achieve, and how the first step to achieving any kind of significant results is not by actually focusing on the result that you want, but on who you have to be in order to achieve that result, right? And that you start with that first. Um, I asked you all to think about that over the week and to put more effort uh, and to put a little effort into thinking about who is it that you want to become. And I'd love to hear some feedback before, uh, from that. I know I saw Silva's chat chat post earlier. Um, so why don't you kick us off, Silva? Thank you so much. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm so excited. I'm just so excited to share this video, which I just created like half an hour ago. I've been taking this uh, homework very seriously, and I've been thinking about how to to uh, work on it and I dedicated my entire week on it and today is uh, the day when I actually have a huge achievement to ac uh, account for and test for and be proud of because today I cap for the first time before the cycle is up okay so th this is huge for me I mean I, I you have no idea I have put the video in the chat if you'd like to listen to it because I really um, am happy about this story to share so I started with uh, the end in mind, not to be attached to the outcome of it as uh, Dan said, but with the end in mind. So I, I had this goal, this burning desire to, to cap and then to be able to benefit from it because I, I got tired of failing and failing and failing. So I, I, and then I set up a plan of action and now I realize that I would 
not have committed to this plan of action, if I haven't become the person to actually agree to take all this action in order to be able to achieve. So it, it is like a true real life story. Uh, I did change myself. It took me two years to do that. And the greatest analogy, just to top it off, the greatest analogy that I would like to share with you that I heard this week was that when you want to eat a carrot, you don't go and dig the earth every day to see how the carrot grew and if it grew and how much more time you have to wait until it grows so that you can eat it. You give it the time that it needs to grow. And when it actually shows up from the ground, then you pluck it and then you actually benefit from it. So uh, wish you luck and uh, success. And I look forward to hear your, your story. Love it. Love it, Silva. Yeah, don't dig up the carrot every day. All right. You got it. Like that's also something what, that's also what we talked about yes last week as well, right? You have to be and then you have to do, right? You have to be the person that achieves the type of things that you want to achieve. And then you have to do the things that those people do to achieve those results, right? It doesn't mean that you're testing it and, 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 and changing it every day and, and checking on it every day, right? It's just do it every day. And guess what? Eventually, you, you, you achieve the, eventually you will re achieve the results, right? Love that. Um, all right. Who else? Any others? All right. We're going to go into clarity is power, right? So this week's bold laws, clarity is power. Um, this is, and, and the reason I chose this, this bold law for this week was because this is the perfect time of year to get clarity around your business. And what we mean by getting clarity is where are you, right? This is a great time of year to take stock in what are, the, what are the things that I'm doing really well, right? Where am I in relation to my goal, to where I want to be, right? Um, and, and take stock in that for, first and foremost, right? I, um, I, I was meeting with an agent last week and um, I'm sorry, yesterday, not last week. Uh, I was meeting with an agent yesterday and you know, when they said they kept saying things like, well, I want to take it to the next level. And I kept asking, well, what does that mean? And they didn't, they couldn't give me an answer. And after like asking three or four different ways, I, I asked the simple question, which was, well, where are you right now? And as soon as I asked that question, it became a little bit more clear for them. And then we actually started having a conversation around what their business looked right now. And then the things that they wanted to change about it. So getting clarity around where you are right now, the reason we say clarity is power is because getting that clarity around where you are right now, and then it allows you to get clarity around where you want to go. So that is the homework for the week. Let's get clarity around where we are, who we are, right, right now. And then from there, we can focus on what is it that we want to achieve. And then in the next couple of weeks, we're going to have a lot of opportunities for you guys, for everybody to, um, to, 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 to build off of that. All right. Through our business planning clinic, through things like through our programs like Ignite, which kicked off this past week. All right. Um, so if you're if you're not sure of what you need to do to get from where you are to where you want to go, take advantage of these programs that we're offering. All right. Get, get to the regional mega camp, get to the business planning clinic. I guarantee you, you will get more clarity than you've ever had around your business before. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Let's get out there and sell some houses. Love you all. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Have a good one, Dan.